Good afternoon. My name is Kayla Menard, and today I'll be presenting on pipeline building to increase African Americans and allied health. To begin, I'd like to talk about uh, what the STEM field might traditionally look like. So STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, within the STEM field is allied health. Uh, it's a large field, so it covers a variety of professions, doctors, engineers, scientists, researchers, uh, computer engineering, coding. Um, what it lacks is proper representation of African-Americans. And this has been historic. We've seen this um, over generations, but it actually has decreased uh, in recent times. Um, seeing a STEM field be traditionally dominated by white males uh, it kind of shapes and perceives how society views the STEM field. Uh, it also contributes to low participation of African-Americans in STEM. Um, another thing that contributes to low participation is academic and institutional support sometimes being lacking in high school and universities. Um, some schools might not have the resources or they might not have the programs that are geared towards African-American students um, being pushed towards STEM professions and STEM fields and just school-based social capital in general. Um, just, uh, you know, a lot of money and programs and resources going towards African-Americans in STEM fields. But the main factor I wanna talk about today is the conflict between a STEM uh, culture and identity and ethnic identity within African-Americans. So ethnic identity and enculturation among African-Americans. Right here, I have Cross's uh, model of migrescence and the stages of migrescence. And this plays a big fact factor in what I wanna talk about. So um, race salience is high in most African-Americans uh, due to, uh, probably being a victim of discrimination at some point in their lives. Uh, this kind of shapes how they perceive themselves and forms uh, their own ethnic identity. And they are located somewhere on the Nigrescence model. Now, um, you can have a high achieving student um, be you know, low on the Nigrescence model in a pre-encounter or encounter stage and still be have the resources and and kind of have that desire and drive to achieve a STEM degree. However, what you might have is that in the pre-encounter and encounter stage, uh, African-Americans typically still have some traditional stereotype beliefs about themselves and about African-American society and broader culture in general. Um, this is because this has been, uh, the dominant society has kind of imprinted this uh, onto African-Americans in general being a minority in the United States of America. So when you're in this pre-encounter and encounter stage, you can't help but have these kind of subconscious beliefs. So these beliefs can clash with uh, traditional STEM culture and what they are seeing these uh, main images of STEM uh, uh, educators and professionals look like uh, white males and then kind of clashing with their traditional African-American stereotypes that they hold in the pre-encounter and encounter stage. So this is an area of intervention that I want to look at in order to kind of achieve and, and bypass this. So uh, the ultimate goal is to reach that uh, final stage of nigrescence, internalization and commitment um, in which you're having these positive identity and positive ethnic representation about yourself. Um, but you're also able to kind of use that um, to uh, locate, to, to navigate in different cultures. So um, you kind of reach this biculturation and multiculturation identity in which you still have this commitment to better African-Americans and, Af and your ethnic group situation. And uh, that's the ultimate goal. And to use that, we wanna look at improving monetary value of educating African-Americans about race salience um, in and outside the classroom. It's proven to be very effective and um, just advocating and promoting more diverse faces at a younger age and in school systems and in educating and leadership positions so that they have these uh, 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 representation that they can see and look at. And your ultimate goal is going to be uh, that studies have shown that bicultural identities and students allow high achieving and gifted African-Americans to maintain and navigate uh, an African-American identity while also staying uh, 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 succeeding and that uh, STEM culture, so to speak. Um, so that is the ultimate goal and thank you for your time. Um, and here's my references, thank you.